So Nora is too wide a subject for me to try to take on. She's more like a library than a concept. I was always humbled by her uh, because of, okay, I'll say it, wisdom. That one was a wise woman. Instead of uh, trying to talk about everything we did together, we did a lot. Uh, we used to talk on the phone the last 10 years of her life about once a week. I had a dream in Ecuador and uh, Lenore was in the stream. So I'm going to trust the dream because Lenore would have said trust the dream. She could pronounce a few words that emanated beams of innocent light that could spread like a kind of fever. Her gentle voice says, with utmost sincerity. What's wrong with the word fuck? It's just a word. A wonderful word, actually. It might scare some people, but so what? The word get scares some people. And some people are just afraid of words to begin with. So why should we stop speaking? <laughs> Coming from her, these things were never cliches, even if you felt you might have heard them before. They always had originality that was appropriate to that moment. They had both humor and profundity. There were the night tide that comes in and slowly and visibly lifts you up onto your toes. Lenore in spider. She breathed life into them. I've seen their rapt eyes listening to them. I felt myself staring at them. She's put spirit into them, or put it out of them. Her sensuality wasn't isolated to a costume, or a gesture, or a glimpse of flesh. It was always pulsing under the surface. It came out of her like a sweet, shining sweat. The three memorable examples, and they're just because other people might not know these. We did a Golden Gate Park event with the Diggers, and her contribution was to bring wind chimes and sensuous pieces of cloth to make intimate spaces under bushes for lovers. <laughs> That was her contribution. <laughs> uh, we had a police store called Trip Without a Ticket. She asked if she could design the changing room for the police store. <laughs> she made it with uh, silk brocade walls, red and gold, and uh, satin pillows, and wooden gold gilt framed mirrors a candle, and an incense holder. It was a love sex room. She honored me by taking the suggestion that she have a foot reading booth <laughs> at the amazing Invisible Circus event inside Black Church. Lenore always said about this event that the press and the other media, media never reported it with thousands of people streaming in, I think it was during Fleet Week, and Lenore had figured out a way to invite the Navy, as well as the Hells Angels, as well as all the poets we all knew, Browdigan and McClure and Blue Welch, all there. She said they didn't uh, report it because it was incomprehensible for them. They couldn't understand it. So she made a, a foot chart that diagram imaginary centers of thought and emotion in the sole of the foot. And she constructed a kind of a booth out of screens and pillows. And she washed people's feet, anointed them with olive oil, and spontaneously composed dozens of fortunes for these lucky recipients. I have no idea what she might have said. I, I, it's like I'm saying it so you can try to imagine what she might have said. This is one of her poems that's been on the Planet Drum bulletin board for several decades. 
everyday magic. Were I a wise woman in the hill tribes, rough jewels hung in my grease slick hair, and dreams spewing out of my mouth as I chanted by the dawn fire, raising my arms with the flight of the wild birds, sky trumpet, night wing that lifts the light. The day wind is blowing out the stars, scattered spirits have walked between the worlds. Rejoin your yesterdays once more. Run, night children. Run to your holes and dens. Creep to the roots of grandfather oak. Thus and thus I would sing, I would chant, I would squat in the thin cold dust and stare to the fire, gleaning revelation, revelation from ember and flame and the tracing sparks. I would have a skin bag with a certain feather. Fever come here and fever go. I would have a skin bag filled with everyday magic rare stones and bones and herbs that grow where the clouds hide the mountain. This I would do that the people grow stronger, that the young grow wise and the wise be loving, that the earth bear us lightly, that the night give us shelter, that the day give us laughter, that we share with each other, with the eagle, with the salmon, with the bear, with the otter, with the planet, with the stars, may it be.